Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Sorry, I didn't have the good to hit the link. So thank you to my colleague Bertha <laughs> to send me the right link. Excellent. Uh, don't don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's. Are we online already? Or yes, just we're already like... online. <laughs> okay. It's I'll, I'll also we'll say hurry. Hello. <laughs> Also, hurry in presenting you. Uh, so, um, uh, Julian Mora, I hope I'm saying the name correctly. Uh, yeah. So, he's joining us uh, from Auslandia Company and he's going to be sharing some feedback and some important lessons learned related to QGIS deployments on a large scale. So, without any further ado, please, Julian. Yes. Thank you, Katrina. Um, okay, so just let me share my screen. Don't show these tips again. Okay, this is. Uh, are you are you seeing my my screen? Is that okay? Um, oh yeah. Okay, so welcome everybody to the to this uh, late talk. Oh, it depends where you are in uh, in the world. I'm Julian Moura. I'm working on uh, I'm on Auslandia Fellow, one more, as a GIS consultant. And uh, if you're French speaking, uh, I also sometimes contribute to a French blog called uh, GeoTube. Tonight or today, it depends. Uh, well, well, I'm going to speak with you to share with you uh, some feedback or some option uh, about uh, a large scale QG, uh, QGIS deployment. And uh, I hope uh, you will be interested. So uh, as outlined, I will talk about uh, firstly about uh, uh, actual or existing QGIS deployments method and uh, which one we have uh, tried to or we deep, we implemented uh, within our client uh, infrastructure. Uh, we'll continue about the IT stakes. Uh, this is uh, really important uh, today uh, to make it uh, the QGIS uh, deployment equal with uh, other JS uh, softwares, especially the proprietary, <laughs> the closed source uh, one, like uh, ArcGIS or another one. And uh, this is a stake to to play in the same uh, in the same court. And I will share with you some feedback and listens, and uh, I will uh, oh, I will be I will open on a new option we are working on, and uh, new ops for the for the future. So, uh, as we well, as we as uh, we Matt spoke just uh, before me, I, I think uh, we have uh, two main known existing option. We can uh, script OSGO for Windows. And uh, creating custom QGIS install. I'm um, on this in this part of the this presentation. Um, I'm talking about uh, about mainly talking about Windows deployment because this is here uh, where we are we are meeting some some issues. This is on this uh, operating system where are located the most the most part uh, the main part of uh, of end users. And uh, this is uh, this is on this operating system uh, where the the the, the most part the, the majority of our clients are, are working on. Uh, so the first option, uh, a quick view. Uh, we can uh, script OS0 for Windows installer. Yes, uh, you already know that. Uh, I think uh, you can do it with batch or PowerShell. And uh, it's uh, it's really interesting because in the for to update QGIS, QGIS or to distribute some custom packages, um, it uh, it allows to 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 install or to um, uh, to add some some features which are not included into the into the the, the generic uh, QGIS installer. So it's really interesting. And uh, uh, it's uh, especially interesting too because uh, when when the time is coming to to upgrade, you just need to 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 download the upgraded uh, packages and not uh, not the full installer. But uh, it's all to to make it comply with the the IT policy, and uh, we are also meeting some troubles to with some option 
and uh, with the documentation of the tool it's uh, really hard so for years we have been we are still in uh, making uh, improvement or working on this tool this is a really good tool because uh, we, uh, we we make our custom uh, our custom packages we uh, we use to deploy and to maintain our custom uh, mirror for the for everything and we we provide a custom mirror with extra packages especially for our clients so it's really it's really cool but it's really hard to make it comply with IT policy when uh, this is about deploying full QGIS on, uh, on the full the full computer park. And um, why why is too uh, why is it, why it's too hard? Maybe you're asking, uh, or maybe you are asking about my bad English, but I can't I can't answer <laughs> on this second question. Uh, it's hard to comply with Windows because it's like unique spirit like a package manager uh like uh, uh, embedded in, into a windows installer it's 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 cool when you are when you are coming from the the unix world but it's not windows spirit friendly and uh, for example with uh, technically in the point of view of the it team this is okay you are scripting a tool which is actually downloading a uh, few hundreds of unsigned binaries, which are uh, located in default, uh, located in the at the root of the drive with uh, execution rights. Okay, see you, see you later, and uh, come uh, come back with a real solution. So it's cool for for scientific or for development environment, but it's real it's really hard to uh, to make it comply compliant. Another option uh, we got uh, it is uh, it is to build a custom installer uh, like uh, like the one you are we are all downloading on the QGIS.org. Uh, like uh, you got uh, this is a N NCIS, not so simple installer, and uh, this project is mainly uh, maintained by uh, Jürgen and uh, thank you thank to him, uh, and we can build like this, like uh, installer and uh, like setup.exe uh, or MSC uh, more recently. Uh, but it's, it's quite hard to make it work cleanly uh, because without the full make Microsoft Software Forge, uh, here, uh, Visual Studio, et cetera, et cetera, uh, because Outland, uh, Outland at Auslandia, we are working only on uh, Unix uh, Unix uh, distribution, so it's quite out, but but it works. I, I will share with you some some other experience. When we are talking about uh, stakes, it's like when when we when we are working on this kind of large scale deployment, it's about uh, homogenize the global settings. Uh, provide provide some custom profiles for every specialist, uh, transport, water, uh, uh, anything, beam. Uh, provide a custom plugin repository, which can be uh, like a filtered uh, repository uh, from the, the official one, or uh, with uh, some uh, a specific plugin for the, uh, the, the, the enterprise. Uh, QGIS settings ready to be used for the end user with the authentication database or the keyring, uh, the keyring, uh, the keyring chain uh, already set with the network, the proxy, etc., etc. Oops, some resources <laughs> with the DA, uh, script, symbols, etc. And uh, also we can, we provide a cos cosmetic uh, customization with a custom uh, splash screens. E icons sometimes like uh, like customization to 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 make QGIS fit uh, the graphical identity of the of the enterprise. So uh, honestly, we we try to to make, to make it once, but uh, we 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 let it go after that. Um, the um, I've already said uh, already said it uh, uh, multiple times. Uh, the main stake is to comply with the with the IT policy, and it's it's really hard sometimes because it's 
it's quite specific for every every enterprise every entity uh as is or is its own rules or its own uh, uh, levels of security it's normal but it's quite it's quite odd and um, and uh, often we we've got the the message like uh, ah but why not are, why why not are you providing why are you oh yes stop why uh, why don't you provide um, a ready to use installer like for agis etc and uh, and it's 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 quite complicated to 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 reach the same level of uh, of service but we are working hard and uh, we can uh, we can install it uh, uh, respecting the custom installation folders uh, si signing binaries uh, following a, a cleaner a clean proper uninstall procedure etc etc this is this is quite hard but um, uh, but we are working it and uh, <laughs> yeah um, in our experience in it's well, how to comply with IT? Sorry, I'm I'm nothing because I, I wrote it three times. I think you got the point. It's hard to comply with IT. Um, it's before to, to to share with you some some two project two main cases. It's like, uh, uh, for example, um, we we often have to to deal with the Microsoft uh, 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 Microsoft system uh, SCCM. I don't. I can't. I can't. Uh, I can't remember the exact number, the exact name. And um, this is a tool which uh, allowing the IT team to to deploy some software according to the to the, the policy and to the Active Directory. And uh, it's it's really hard to understand how it works because uh, even the IT team often does not does not manage all the options or all the versions etc etc so in two main two main cases uh we have experienced uh, this past year uh, so the first one is like uh, at the the, the joint inform uh, st sc or carré uh joint is it like the joint information system linking the french police force with uh, the gendarmes it's like a a military alternative police and um, it was quite an exciting challenge like you can imagine because uh, they've got a high level of security uh, uh, requirements uh, they are working in a in in, uh, in a close uh, in a close uh, in a close uh, ecosystem uh, it system uh, and they have um, like a really heterogeneous base of users there are we uh, a lot of different case different type of end users some uh, some of them are really specialist uh, with a high level of skills in gis uh, in gis uh, gis uh, field uh, another ones are just like okay i just need this one i just make a map today and the next map uh, i will do it it will be in in five five years maybe so it's really important. So just to you can see the, the, our our the the schema, the, the graph. Uh, so we 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 have to build. Uh, we deploy. Um, uh, we deploy into. We deploy a, a QGIS, the same QGIS configuration, customized, in uh, in uh, for Windows and for Unix. So this is like a workflow complete workflow which is uh, downloading the the source of qjs which is a uh, uh, or OGO for windows for windows or from the qjs ppa and we build uh, the windows through a vm and we provide a full installer uh, using ensys oh there's a, just a, an error sorry this this is not ensys air uh yes and the on the other side we build a, a custom uh, deb uh, which is deployed on their uh, internal uh, PPA. So this is really interesting because the, the QJS, which is landing on the on the on the on the software uh, platform, or which can be on Windows or, or Unix, this is it, it's the same and it's all inclusive. There are profiles, plugins, uh, network settings, 
authentication, update, there are annotations, there are tutorials, everything into the same box. This is really cool for the end user. It's really easy to install and use, but any updates requires a complete build and it's really huge to, to distribute, especially since the QGIS installer is like uh, one giga. And uh, another case, uh, it's not really a packaging, it's more granular gate-based workflow. So if you can't see it, can I? Oh, no, I can't. Uh, I think I put it there. <laughs> no, not sure, it's like, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, like this, it's better, no? So in this case, we, we propose to the end client to manage is like uh, customization uh, on uh, Git repositories. Uh, the JS administrator push or update the profiles or the plugin list, just the list, not all the plugin, just the list. And after that, the software is downloaded from, to, from as a uh, full installer or uh, through OSGO for Windows into an internal server. The IT tool make it, uh, makes it, its own, uh, own soup with its deployment tool belt. And uh, when the, the end user launches uh, QGIS, we use consistency checks like uh, QG's constraints settings and PQGIS startup to synchronize and to check with the internal server with the, with the, with all the profiles and plugin list configured by the JS uh, administrator. And after the UI is ready and the user is happy, or we hope so. <clears throat> Above all the above the these these uh, like technical uh, recipe uh, we use uh, in different cases uh, we uh, we um, we deployed we were used to deploy some useful plugin which are really good design well designed for this kind of um, of uh, of challenge so I shared uh, I share with you with you. The many layers from project, uh, it allows uh, to create menu, uh, menu to add layers from existing projects stored elsewhere, like uh, on the HTTP server or right into PostgreSQL database. We contribute uh, to that this year. Um, the resource sharing, this is a well-known plugin and uh, it's like with a, a little lack of maintenance uh, this year, but uh, I, I'm sure it will, uh, it will, be, it will be back. On the on the on the front stage, uh, it allows to to share some uh, useful resources uh, like SVG symbol. Everything is listed above, and uh, it's fully compliant uh, with our Git-based uh, workflow. Another one, when uh, in our experience, uh, the end user doesn't want to deal with all the QG, uh, QGIS feature and possibilities. Uh, we are so excited to 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 be allowed to to customize everything to to make our script etc cetera, etc. Cetera. But a JS end user it just like open he wants to 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 open his JS tool and just work. So we customize a lot the experience. And uh, one example is the locator filters. You know, this is uh, this ability uh, to customize the, the universal search bar uh, at the bottom left, and uh, we uh, connect the um, we connect, uh, for example, a geocoder, a local geocoder, or catalog metadata crawler, something like this, and it's really cool for the end user. Another another way is to make the path between the end user and data logic the uh, short again. Uh, often the JS administrators. Um, or ordering their data like uh, oh yeah it's really logical or oh, it makes sense to uh, to 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 put the, this file there or put the layers there in this database with this name and uh, playing with the constraint of the system etc. But for the end user, he just wants okay I need I need my cadastre or my cemetery layers and okay I add it. So we we make some custom source providers uh, uh, to to to, ma to make it easier for the end user uh, finding and uh, adding uh, adding layers. You can see on the on this uh, screen capture that uh, 
There are like a, a, a search, uh, a, a minimal search engine above. It can be like here is like the vectors and rasters. And uh, when he is clicking on the layer, he can uh, see the metadata, which is a uh, uh, right uh, uh, retrieved from the from the metadata catalog uh, uh, on the, in Bordeaux. It's really cool, and uh, we have a good uh, good feedback from the from the end user. Uh, to be continued and to 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 improve uh, the, the this this part of large scale deployment. Uh, we, are, we are thinking about two main ideas. Uh, uh, develop uh, QGIS deployment tool belt, like a cross-platform uh, uh, command line interface uh, to fit with the IT tools, for example, with the uh, Windows SCCM. This is the, could be, they could allow to, to launch post install script uh, with a uh, Windows uh, executable and uh, to retrieve resources or upgrade, update from the uh, internal server or some, something like this, or for the prepared QGIS uh, experience. And uh, we, are, we think to, to develop, um, maybe through a CAP, uh, QGIS enhancement proposal, a profiles manager. It's like the plugin manager, but for entire, entire profiles. Uh, and why not uh, one day on the Q, QGIS app? I'm over. Is that okay in the uh, in the timing? Or? So thank you very much for the presentation. Don't worry about the English. It was perfect. <laughs> so <laughs> you sure. got your message across. I have no doubt. And I've also been monitoring the chat, so no worries there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Let me check if we have some questions, and we have one. I'll also copy and paste it into our chat. Uh, uh, ah, okay. Okay, so um, question more regarding the generic Windows packaging itself, but couldn't leverage Conda Forge. QGIS builds. Uh, QGIS builds be considered instead of the OSGEO 4W custom process? Um, ah, okay, I'm sharing my screen. <laughs> Sorry. Um, um, okay, um, the Conda Forge, um, it's like, wait, it's like, um, well, it's, it's not, it's not good to comply with the IT rules. Again, the, the question is not like um, for us. It's like natural to, to say, okay, let's uh, let's try it with uh, Conda or Mini Conda, or to compile our 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 proper way. But it's not a, it's not so easy because when you are going to see to the IT team, they see they they reply you, okay, Conda, no, I don't know that. So. So you can you can deploy that you can you can pass pass the pass the pass the, the control. So I think it's it's good idea, but with with um, the IT teams we met, they are not uh, they are not agree with that. Okay, next question: Is there any way to use the Azure AD credentials in a in a large company to log into Azure hosted Postgres database? Uh, could you <laughs> copy paste yes. it? Okay. Yes, yes I did. Ah. Um, oh, good question. Uh, yeah, I didn't uh, mention that, but uh, authenticate if I'm uh, embed uh, ready to use uh, authentication to databases is uh, it's a part of the work. Uh, we didn't uh, we didn't map the case of the Azure or Seed Postgre databases, but I think in the same logic we may we we made it uh, we made it once to to be to to be compatible with the Kerberos authentication system on Windows. And I think when the Active Directory of Windows is synchronized with the Azure platform, the Azure Active Directory, I think it it could it could make it. Uh, and um, and um, and uh, using the the credential of the of the session, it depends maybe of the how the Windows is connected to the Azure Active Directory. Is the is this Active Directory in the same uh, Azure tenant? 
uh, organization uh, of the uh, with the Postgres database, or it's uh, it's not. Maybe it, maybe it is uh, in this second case, it's it's order. Okay. Thank you. So I'm also monitoring the chat and I see that the question regarding the Conda Forge is from Ivan Renault. The idea would be to take snapshots of Conda Forge packages and bundle them. So um, just to um, just to uh, yeah. Ah. Um. Oh yeah, well, to to pull from the Conda, mm, um, interesting idea. <laughs> we should explore that. Yeah. Some, some oh, yeah, I, we, didn't, we didn't try it. We are working out today on the making some uh, independent uh, MSI installers, but uh, maybe it's uh, it's a good option. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, even. <laughs> Uh, and to close the to close the last uh, with the last question, please fill a link where to report issue of, uh, issue of OSGEO for W installer. Uh, they want a link. Yes. Yeah, it's uh, give the link. <laughs> I'm not the link, uh, uh, but. Uh, um, yeah, it's like um, I can speak um, in place of Jurgen, which are which is the main who is the main maintainer of this uh, OSGO uh, or of the OSGO recipes. It's a huge work, really huge work, and I think um, uh, it's, it's just waiting for for proof of work before to to open the the. <laughs> the free ticket uh, system i think so but i i don't know him personally so i i can't even more speak for him okay uh and there was another question at the previous pre uh, previous presentation asking for your slides if i remember correctly uh could you share them or will you make them available at some point oh uh, yeah you can you can get it uh the link I yeah, I can put the link, but we will share it after. Yeah, okay. that's okay. If you okay. give it to me in the private chat, then oh, you can just okay. Then it's much better. Yeah. Yes. Enjoy. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, thank you very much for the presentation. Thank you for thank answering you. the questions and. Please feel free to continue at the gala dinner that will start in, I think, less than a minute. And uh, I hope to see you in the Italy Phosphorgy next year, hopefully not online. So we'll see. I'll be there because Perfect. I'm right. I'm close to the front from the Brandari, France, uh, France, Italy. So and that's perfect. We are quite neighbors. <laughs> It's perfect. Thank you very, very much. And Thank you. enjoy the rest of Phosphorgy. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. And thank you, everyone, for watching this, uh, this session. Enjoy the gala dinner and the rest of the Phosphorgy. Goodbye.